Accessories are those extra details that complement and often complete an outfit. And whether you have a handful or a drawer full, it is important to protect and organize your investment. Welcome back to my 1928. I am Piper Williams. In this video, we'll discuss how to store accessories. Be sure to check below for links to these or similar items. If you're new to this channel, make sure you click subscribe and that bell, that way you don't miss any future content. This felted valet is a great option for someone with only a few accessories, small enough to sit on a dresser or inside a drawer. The dividers help to keep things organized and the felt lining provides a cushion for items that might otherwise get scratched. This style is also ideal for someone looking to store and organize a small EDC. Watch this video to learn more about my everyday carry essentials. For a larger collection, these stackable organizers are ideal for storing a variety of accessories, from boutonnieres to watch chains. And while not visually exciting, the clear plastic makes it easier to find what you're looking for. The removable tray provides storage and organization for smaller items like cufflinks and collar bars, while the lid helps to keep out dust and the locking sides allow for multiple boxes to be stacked and locked together. This armoire is a little piece of luxury. It features two swinging doors that have been lined with felt and a selection of hooks, ideal for storing and displaying necklaces and watch chains. Lift the lid and you'll find another compartment perfect for storing and displaying wristwatches. Each of the eight felt-lined drawers offer a unique space specifically designed to store and display rings, cufflinks, and a variety of other accessories. This is a brilliant choice for someone looking to add refinement and organization to their wardrobe. And for those extra special pieces, these cloth drawstring bags, available in a variety of sizes, colors, and fabrics. A great, inexpensive way to protect your favorite accessories from dust and scratches no matter where you store them. Now, a very special shout out to everyone that has subscribed. This past week, My1928 reached and passed 300 subscribers. It's really exciting to see that happen, and I've really been enjoying uh, reading your comments and replying and interacting with you after you've watched the videos. And I'm looking forward to doing that more in the future. And I need your help to build those next 300 subscribers. So as always, like, subscribe, and please share this video so that other people will know about My1928. Thanks for watching.